Okay, today the Alameda Repair Shop is going to see what we can do to repair a Black & Decker lawn hog. So, first thing you want to do, this one here blows fuses. They said that uh, their son had kept adjusting it shorter and shorter and kept stalling out the motor and then all of a sudden it blew fuses in the house. So, first you want to do, you want to look underneath and make sure that the blade's free. There's no binding or funny noises. No bends, that all looks good. And then you take the top off, which you already the screws out of. And you got your motor here, your rectifier. So to check that, if you have a meter that has a diode test, You can put your meter, put it in the diode test, diode continuity, put it on the, the plug where it would hook up, and then I can see that, open lead, so then you hit the switch, and it looks like it's shorted. So usually that means if the motor spins and everything looks good on the motor that this rectifier is shorted out. This right here. So we'll check that and see what happens. Okay, so we'll take our diode, diode test on our meter. It's shorted there. It's shorted there. Now, and it's shorted there. So let's just take one lead off. And so so it says beeping is showing zero a dead short, that means this rectifier shorted. So you need to get a new rectifier. This is a 25 amp rectifier, you can get these, well, if we get it in focus here. You can buy these on eBay or through a Black & Decker supplier. These uh, Black & Decker mowers, it's the same mower for a lot of the craftsmen and the Black & Decker lawn hogs, the older model, the new one's junk. And when you replace this, you see you got a plus and an AC. So line that up and when you replace it on the, on the unit itself. So we'll just take it remove it and we'll take and we'll take a look at this we'll try to find the, the markings just get a chamfer on that side here we go. That one there, the black one, was the AC. So where's our label here? Okay. That's an AC. We just make sure they all line up the same position. This one shows the plus, which is the big red one. And then, this one doesn't say anything but the one below that. Just look at the directions of the pins. 
doing them one at a time. So that goes below the black one. Okay, so you have this piece of metal here and what you want to do is you want to put some thermal grease heat sink grease, whatever you want to call it on the rectifier and then plunk that bad boy down right where he was And put the screw back in. Really that one's a Torx. Make sure that's tight. Okay. Now we'll take our meter. Not reading shorted everywhere. We'll go across the handle here. We get up to the handle. Where's the handle? Okay, so we'll take our meter and put it into the light, the little plug socket here. Make sure they're not touching each other. And you pull up the handle and you no longer have a short. That's across the AC plug in the handle. So we're doing this live without any, where'd we go here, okay, so let's, that way out there, so we're going to plug in our AC power, and here we go. So, put your top back on, put your screws in, and go mow the lawn. Well, there's your old part sitting on top of the mower put back together. It's all ready to be a lawn hog again. Okay, it's time to mow.